guys, Jess here, and welcome to my Mod Mod World. Now, in the last episode, Tommy and Megan had a little quarrel, and it was not so much as it was Megan's fault, it was more so Tommy making assumptions about cooties, but Thankfully, um, that was resolved and they became really good friends. However, it was very interesting because we had our resolution in the park and upon that, we were attacked by this little jelly cube thing, which turned out to be, after its defeat, it turned out to be Prince Reese's brother, Prince Marsh, and he's blue, and he's still out of commission right now. I believe he's still in Professor Mozilla's place, but, um... Yeah, I decided to take it easy today and just read a book, but I think I'm going to go and visit um, Prince Reese and maybe take him some flowers for his brother because I know that he's really concerned about them. But but yeah, so um, speaking of Prince Reese, I actually took him up on that book suggestion that he gave me for Midnight, and um, I've been reading it a lot lately, and it's, it's pretty interesting. I mean, it's... It's a very interesting book, so, I mean, there's only, you know, it, it's it's apparently a top seller here in the Minecraftio world, but, uh, okay. Anyway, um, I, I'm definitely gonna finish reading it up, but, uh, for now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go over to Prince Reese and see how Prince Marsh is doing, and Orangey, hey, how about you come out with me today? Meow. Uh, <laughs> what? W wanna go outside with me today, Orangey? Meow, meow. Is that a yes or a no? I'm gonna assume it's a yes. Meow. Uh, come on. Meow. Uh, wait, is. Do I have to give him a fish to get. Do I have to hire my own cat? Okay. Um. Hire? Okay. Yeah. Look. Why did I have to hire my own cat? I don't know, but okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, I really can't fly now because um, I don't want Orangey to, uh, you know, follow me into the sky. Though I don't think he can, so I want to make him feel... I I'm glad he's actually walking with me now. Come on, we're going to get some flowers. We're going to take some flowers to, to Prince Reese so we can, you know, maybe put them by his brother's bedside or something like that. Because, you know, it, it sucks to have, you know, family that you care about and... In the hospital, you, we don't we don't want to. Well, not the hospital. I guess the laboratory or whatever. We wouldn't want our family members in the laboratory either. But whatever. Um, you know what I mean. I, I mean, I just want to show him that I care. So I'm gonna take him this one first. I'm gonna take him the um as you blown it. No, let's take him the roses, the, the posies, the whatever. No, I don't like those. Let's take him the dandelions first. Yeah, those look better. They actually look like something else, but they don't look like dandelions. But they're pretty. All right, so Orangey, come on. We're gonna go ahead and uh, go see what Prince Reese is up to. Um, maybe he's there still. I hope he is because I would feel weird just going to visit. I, I, I feel like I'm trying to observe um, Prince Marsh in his current. Ooh, that's a pretty. Yeah, I want that one. Give him, give him that one because he's blue. That makes sense. Oh, is that is that wrong to say? Uh, any. Oh, Megan and and Tommy. What are you guys? Are you guys peeping? Hey, what? Oh. I feel really bad. Well, at least Mozilla's in there with them, so that's good, I guess. Um, Tommy? I'm surprised I- er, my dad allowed Reese and Marsh to be inside his lab while he's working. I have a feeling my dad is studying them. <sighs> that's just like Professor Mozilla to do that. Especially in this kind of time! Where- wait. Where'd you guys get ice creams? Oh! Megan and I use the Master Chef's mod to make an ice cream stand so we can raise money to try to discover a dinosaur mod. At least that's what Megan is hoping. Honestly, dinosaur mods are incredibly difficult to discover and require an actual fossil to even begin the research. But Megan is pretty determined to do this, and she says we can use a string of her hair to do research because she apparently has dinosaur DNA. Uh, uh, <laughs> get out while you can. No, I don't want to say get out, but <laughs> she's adorable. Isn't she, though? Oh! 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 <laughs> I am an adult, and I will respect his feelings because it's so cute. Anyway, sorry. Uh, Orangey, yes, we must respect his feelings, Orangey. Megan? Oh. Aw, Megan's so, so happy Mr. Prince Reese was reunited with his brother. I wish I had a sibling. We'd fight all the time and get all kinds of cool cuts and bruises, and then Daddy would yell at us because we'd annoy each other by trying to pick each other's scabs. He <laughs> rare. <laughs> <laughs> You've really thought this through, haven't you? I sure have, though I don't think I'm going to get a sibling anytime soon since Mommy ran away. Oh well, I'll just annoy Tommy here. <laughs> Aww, she's so cute. Alright, uh, come on, Orangey, we can go inside. I want to see if Prince Reese is... Aww, I, I feel bad. I'm, I'm gonna... 
I want to give him a flower. Prince Reese. Ah, Athmau, I would say it's a pleasure to see you. However, given the circumstances, I'm not exactly thrilled to see anyone at this time in particular. Oh. <laughs> a little blunt there, huh? Well, I've learned that being honest when it comes to humans is the most respected trait one can have, even if it means being mean at times. I- Hmm. <laughs> oh. I was, uh, I don't want to question him like I'm sassy. I just- I, I was just taunting you for fun. A weird way to have fun, if you ask me. You should try reading a book for that. I actually have been reading a book. No sass. <laughs> um, I guess you aren't really in a good mood, huh? I'm rather sour, yes. I, uh, want to talk about it? Sure. Um, so this is my brother, Prince Marsh. He's the second youngest of my five brothers. There are six of us in total. I'm sure you already know this. You must have heard it from someone in the candy dimension, or maybe I told you. I don't recall. Our mother was once a kind and benevolent being, but one day she just ate another candy person and became obsessed with eating her people. It was horrible. She ate my brothers, and had not you come along and slayed her, I'm sure I would have been next. I... I don't know how to deal with this. I, uh, <laughs> what? Being here in your world has taught me many new emotions, whereas before I was just a blank slate. I now hate, love, worry. I was like a piece of cardboard just waiting to have a purpose. I'm just rambling now. I'm glad that my brother is safe and somewhere deep down, I'm hoping that maybe, just maybe, my other brothers made it to this dimension as well, and they're just waiting for me to help free them from the demonic state. I, demonic? Well, I guess, but, uh, um, I don't know if I want them terrorizing the town. I don't want them terrorizing the town, but I'm, I'm sure they'll be fine. Thanks. Um, Afmau, would you mind if I bestowed the human form of affection known as the kiss upon your what? For saving my brother. Uh, 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 no. Uh, uh, th thank you. I, I thank you. Thank me. Uh, I, enough. Nonsense. I would do the same for any beautiful woman who saved my family. Now come. Wait, no, 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 no. I don't. Uh, uh, no, I do. I'm a, a kiss? Like, oh, what? He's awake. <gasps> Bruh, he's a- <laughs> I, You can give me the chocolates! Reese, did mother eat you too? Are we both being devoured right now in her stomach? No, brother, you are well and alive and not being consumed by acids. He hugs his brother. Oh, Wait, uh, I remember now. You do? I remember waking up in the stomach of Mother. I saw our brothers there as well. We were being surrounded by these little blocks that very much resembled Mother in her cube form. But after that, the only thing I remember was blacking out and waking up here. Oh, wow. Um, that sounds horrible. Uh, uh, wait. Do you know anything about how you got to this dimension? No, I just remember for a period of time things were very warm, and then I was here? I don't know. I'm sorry, brother. Recalling all this is really foggy. He, he might need some time to rest, Reese. I, it's okay, brother. I'm just glad I have one of you back. Aww! One question, brother. What kind of candy is this thing? Wait, what thing? Oh, that's right. You don't know anything about the human world. Um... This here is a human female. Her name is Afmau. She's the one who rescued you after you attacked her in your demonic form. Wait, oh, he's talking about me. Really? Then, Miss Afmau, thank you so much. I don't have a kiss to give you, or I would. Wait, uh... No, brother. A kiss here isn't a chocolate. A kiss here is a locking of the lips from one being to the other. It's a sign of undying affection. Yeah, but it's also a candy, too. Oh, that sounds stupid and a horrible way to transmit germs. <laughs> I hear it's quite pleasurable surprise. This is getting really awkward. Oh, well, it still sounds stupid. I'd rather just give her chocolates. Oh, uh, no, if you give her chocolates, some humans think you are trying to get them fat, and they work on these things called diets. Chocolates might ruin the ritual of dieting, and they'll be very mad at that. Uh, who? How did you? What? That, that sounds horrible. Why deny yourself chocolates? I don't know if I like this place, little brother. Uh, oh. What? Okay. Yeah, that's, um drawbacks to this room but there were also many that no i okay you guys you guys talk about your science stuff uh pr pr modzilla 
Fascinating. Yet another brother of Prince Reese's. Why are they all? Where are they all coming from? I thought we had closed off the the candy dimension portal, and had it demolished. At least that's what I heard. Orangey, let's go. They're gonna talk science, and I don't know if we can. T <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a, a great sci. Uh, you know, I know science stuff, but I don't. You know, I don't study religiously, and I mean, it was a really good subject. I was great at school, but still, let's let's just you know, let, Orangey, let's just go and see what's going on in town right now. How about that? Uh, Is going on here? What is this? <laughs> what <laughs> is this? A house made out of all the villagers? And what happened? What? I'm gonna put this flower right here. I, wait, I, I should have given that flower. To, I'll give. I'll go back and give it to him later. But what? What is going on here? <laughs> what is going on here? This is my house. <laughs> <laughs> are are you not concerned about Can I be the house owner now? <laughs> what? Sure, buddy. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are they changing places? <laughs> I don't I don't <laughs> I don't get you guys. I I seriously don't, but okay, yeah, let's just let's let them have their villager house. I I don't even. I don't even. It's so funny because they talk like this and they seem to be happy all the time. <laughs> what? Oh, wait. I, this is. This is complete. Where's Polly's place? Where'd it go? Wait. Pa wait, there it is. Uh, oh, Megan's. I forgot about Megan. Oh, yeah, I forgot Megan's dad was making re renovations to the place. Uh, Hey there, Afmao. How do you like the changes I made to the village? Lots of big projects going on and I'm working fast. <laughs> have you seen the village? What the villagers have done? Boy, those villagers, sir, are a weird bunch. Oh well, they're getting inspired. Good for them. <laughs> oh my goodness, I, I don't even know. I honestly don't even know, and I don't even know where Mayor Villager is. I, you know what? I'm just, I, I want to go see what Polly and Lila are up to. They, I, I kind of like where their new place is. It's like by the, the, the. Wow, that's just so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I want to go swimming now. Let's go swimming. Let's go swim. Oh, you don't like water? I forgot. Okay. Um. Ooh, are you guys working? Oh, am I interrupting something? I. Polly? Hey, where's your sister? Oh, my sister. Oh, pfft. my sister is finally gone. Yes, good riddance, too. She was greatly interrupting our research and did nothing but talk about how she, how much better she was than me. <laughs> uh, I, I kind of... Does, does your sister like Mozilla? Because I think she said something about the... Wh what? Why would you even ask such a thing? No, she does not. Now, please, Afmao, I have science to work on. For example, I took a strand of Prince Reese's and Prince Marsh's hairs. Hee <laughs> hee. I can look into their DNA. Fascinating. Oh. That, okay, yeah, that's, that's an invasion of privacy. But you do, do, you do what you're gonna do because I'm not... I mean, I'm not gonna tell him you took your... I mean, I may tell him, but I, I, I won't tell. I No, I won't tell him. Um... I can't believe you had the guts to ask her if her sister liked Mozilla. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Why? <laughs> well, because it's pretty much true. You're going to think this is crazy, but Mozilla is actually a super hottie in the scientific community. Not only is he incredibly smart, but he's got a beach bod. <laughs> I don't see- I'm sorry, but- sorry, I just imagined him on the cover of some pseudoscience magazine, and I can't stop- <laughs> Oh my god. Do you like Mozilla? <laughs> no, not the sl in the slightest bit. I don't even think he's a major hottie. <laughs> he's always been a good friend of mine since I know him through Polly, and thinking of him in any other way is just not possible without dying of laughter for me. Well, anyway, just so you know, Polly's sisters, who don't have boyfriends, are super infatuated with Mozilla and give Polly a hard time for not being with him. So yeah, more family drama. Woo. Let's just hope Renee doesn't come back. Yeah, let's hope she doesn't come back either. And what happened to your cats, by the way? I, I thought you had like a, like a whole thing of cats, like just around here, but... You know what? I'm not gonna question you girls. Maybe you did some science on them. Oh, I'm like, let's get out of here, Orangey. I don't want to question them anymore. <laughs> Okay, well, it looks like everything is perfectly fine here, and there's a lot of changes going on. Oh my gosh, just the fact that there's like a huge crane here, the, the villagers are acting super weird, um, 
And what else do we have? We got, oh my god, there's a crane here too. And just so many different things are changing. I'm actually super excited about this entire town taking like a complete 360. This is, what's this? What? Tommy and Megan's ice cream. Aww. And she's got her doll here too. Her little Discord. That's so cute. And I got ice cream here too, I guess. All right, Orangey, I think it's time that we retire back home. But you know what? I am so glad. I am just really glad that um, things are going well in town. I'm glad. I'm incredibly happy that Prince um, Prince Marsh is now awake. I'm gonna give him, unlike Mozilla Orangey, I'm actually going to give um, you know, I'm actually gonna give Prince Reese and Prince Marsh some time to have, but you know, because they they've been separated for so long it seems, especially since we brought him here from the candy dimension. <sighs> Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Mod Mod World. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. And until then, take care and be sure to take your cat out for a walk every now and then because you never know. Sometimes they need it and sometimes they just want to drown and fish. Right, kitty cat? <laughs> okay, you can have all your fish you want. Take care, guys. Bye. Can you say bye, kitty cat? Say bye-bye. Meow. Okay. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs>